<laughs> Call hard to live. What's up with you? We coming at you with the Rough Rider audio damage. Hey, I like this compressor. I'm a compressor head anyway, and I like this compressor. It kind of do something different too. Check it out. That's without it. That's with it. See, I didn't give it a lot. Basically, I I figured out that you gotta pull the feedback, the uh, output gain back. Almost instantly, whatever, because it, it puts it out hot, which is kind of what I like about it. But it, the sensitivity now works slightly different than a, than um, threshold. It is a little different than threshold. It seems like it's threshold and somewhat of an attack too. Check it out. Let's put it all the way back. Apologize. I got two screens, so I'm on the other screen looping that up. All right. All right. So it can kill it. But I say about right here. Just let it start peeking at you. Yeah. All right, let's kill the release. Actually, what I'm going to do is right here is a quick way of setting up a compressor. Attack. Alright. This is the basic way to set up a compressor. Smash the ratio. Give it maximum ratio. Give it the fastest attack you can. Give it the slowest release you can. Or fastest release. Basically, maximize all values. Specifically, ratio. Right and sensitivity. Now, when you play it, it's gonna be so muffled, but you know the worst you can get. First thing you gotta play with is the ratio. You can't even really hear it, right? So let's pull that ratio back. And the ratio alone, you begin to determine what it can do. See, it's like, oh, that's killing. So that's fair, right? I'm still getting a little signal, so I'll pull my attack around. Uh-oh. And you kind of, you can find your attack setting outside there. Pull your release. And you can see when I get right there. Right there, pretty much, you can hear a woof, a little more woof. And that's what you listening for the rest of the transients. Because that release really determines how much of it is coming on through. It's more of a cutoff, if you think about it, than a release. Because it is a release, but it's a cutoff slash release. Not with just this compressor and the compressor that I realized so far. Because as you play with that release, you'll find out that you'll get a little more of that coming on through. Like, like if you want that sharp, punchy kick... You, you would want a quick release so it could all come through, I think. I may have said that wrong, but basically what I'm saying is if you play with that release, every time you do a compressor, don't just set it. Close I like to, I got a um, core controller right here, and what I do is uh, little, the little mini, you know, with the faders. And so what I do is I go to, uh, what it is, scene two, and I'm just, I always set my knobs to one of my top knobs on there. And so when I'm compressing that, I'm gonna play with my release and my attack with my eyes closed, twisting the knobs. The same way you would do it if you were on a big board and your eyes are closed and you're listening for a sound. It works A1. I do my filters the same way. My low pass and high pass filters. It really makes, the tr I'm telling you, you'll be surprised sometimes where you'll, where you, you'll look at it and be like, I would've never did that by look. That looks so, Sharp or filter, it's like I'm cutting everything. But you, you listen when you're doing your low pass, high pass filters. We're gonna get on that too. So let's get back to this here. Now, your sensitivity when you get to working with that, which will be threshold on other compressors. Now it's all coming through, and then you can fine tune what you want. Now let's pull it off. And we only just beefed it up a little bit. You see what I'm saying? We didn't drastically change the sound, which is what you really want to do. 
you don't want to, unless and that's your goal, to destroy it. But like I said, Rough Rider, I like it. I had, uh, I was trying to get, I don't know if y'all had this problem, but I was trying to get um, the piano and a couple of more. And it was like, told me, failed or whatever. And now it's like, I've already got it. It's saying I can't try it. I can only buy it. So I don't know if y'all had that problem too, but I was like, I was going to show off all the new uh, stuff. Because like the day that I put it in here, I don't think I used it on this one. Nah. But the uh, cork, the day it came out, I went and got to play with it. Did a tutorial on it. But I just didn't put it out yet. So I'm going to go back and do a little more on it. I, I did get to. And, um... Why are we here? Because I like to keep it around time. Check this out. I don't know if y'all are doing this. It's called resampling. That's the next one I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a quick one on that. I'm going to holler at y'all. Cold Heart is Alive. Rate and subscribe. I appreciate you. Keep subscribing me. Hit me with what you want me to talk about. Because I know it's something bubbling in your brain. And you just ain't said it. Hit me. And I'm going to talk about that. It's so much easier if you give me a subject matter. All right. Appreciate you. Peace to the universe.